Microsoft here today we're gonna to be reviewing the Legend Tactical Drop Lake Coaster. Um, this thing costs about $13.50 on eBay, if I'm wrong, maybe a little bit more. Um, but yeah, around $13.50. This thing's a really simple drop lake holster. It doesn't have the um surrounding piece, it's just a simple drop lake holster and nothing too special. This thing feels really durable in your hands, so it's not a crap cloth holster, it feels really nice. Um so you feel it's not going to rip or anything. I've had this for a couple of years. I don't even see any rips at all. So I've used, this in, I've used it in every single airsoft war I've ever played in. And yeah, these things are really helpful. So you got integrated pistol uh, mag pouch right here. Put your pistol mag right there. Fits pretty much any pistol mag. So don't worry about not fitting your pistol mag. By the way, this thing will fit nearly everyone. Unless you are like a 10 year old that never eats so you're skinny. It's going to fit you. Don't worry about it. And don't worry if you're really fat. It's, it, this thing can adjust to really wide uh, thighs. So don't worry about it not uh, fitting you guys. This will fit you. I guarantee it. Um, really easy to put on. I'll show you that in a little bit. Um, the way you adjust the, uh, the way how tight the pistol is inside the holster. This is a little piece right here. You get like a screwdriver. Put it through there so you can move the... Um, little piece right here because it's a uh, velcro that's what <laughs> I forgot what it was called velcro you can move the uh, thing back and forth it's really hard when you don't have it basically impossible um, so you're gonna need a screwdriver or something to put that in there adjust it accordingly to what pistol you have I didn't have to adjust mine because I have a regular 911 uh, M1911 pistol that's pretty much it for the basics of this thing um, uh, stretchy parts right here for adjustments uh... yeah i think that's pretty much it so now i'll show you guys how to put it on okay guys so how you put it on uh... what you're gonna do is the top strap right here open that up you'll have two velcro pieces right here get your belt and loop it under the belt like this loop it under the belt into like the halfway point and then bring it back over so now it's like stuck in, in between your belt so the only way it's going to come off is if your belt comes off, so it's not going to fall off. But still, it's flinging around here. It's useless. <laughs> um, yeah, these straps right here, you're probably going to have to adjust them to whatever thigh size you are. Put it right here and bring this loop around your thigh and strap it in. Pretty easy to do the same exact thing with the other one. Strap it in right there. So now, these things are strapped all the way around your thigh, really, they should be pretty tight. Pretty, uh, you should be able to wiggle your leg, it shouldn't move at all, so you should be able to do really anything comfortably. I mean, I don't even really notice it's there right now. It feels so comfortable, I love this thing. I got my, uh, Ethan Force 1 9 11. I'll show you guys what it looks like in there. Um, really comfortable, still barely even notice it's there. Then you have these little buttons, so you're gonna click that in there. Pistol barely even moves. Uh, depending on how tight you guys want it, uh, that's how much you guys want your pistol to be tight. You can easily um, unbutton it and pull your pistol out pretty quickly, so that's very awesome. So I think that's about it, guys. Um, obviously, the way to take it off is just reverse of what I said earlier. Another, another quick thing, though. Not sure why you need this, but quick detach of this. Unstrap these. Unclick them really quick, and this little piece, unstrap that. Now it's totally off your body. Now, throw it off. I don't know. I don't know what you would use that for, but they added it probably to make it a little bit more realistic. Yeah, I'm not sure why you would, though. Um, if you have a smaller pistol, the barrel will hang out a little bit. This is, like, the only pistol I have that actually does. I have a uh, more modern 1911. If you guys have seen the review of that, the tan one has rails, so it keeps it from going down there. Uh, another thing, if you guys do have rails, for some reason, sometimes it gets stuck on the bottom. You can't even pull it out. I don't know what it's getting stuck to, but I can't pull it out when it's like that. For some reason, I have no clue why. It's kind of annoying, though. Don't worry about that too much, though. Don't, don't not buy this just because of that reason. It might be only mine, too, for all I know. So about 13 bucks on Evite, guys. Go ahead and go buy. This thing's a pretty good dump pouch, really simple one, good for beginners to intermediate and to uh, the experienced players. So, thank you guys for watching. This has been Archibald Airsoft. See you guys later.